um, the commonest comorbidity we find. And this is not classical autism, it's really children with driver's syndrome and adults might show features or autistic features which are very similar. Um, and I think that's been shown to be the case in up to 60-70% of, of individuals with driver's syndrome. And I think it's really important to identify this um, because you have different ways of approaching an individual who, had, who displays autistic features. And um, that's really important for families. So if you know that your child has autistic features, that means you adopt different strategies um, if you, for example, have a conflict or if you plan the day or how you go about um, school, how about routines. There's a wealth of information of how to um, really um, uh, approach a child with autistic features. And also the schools are very, very trained because autism is such a um, common um, childhood um, occurrence that uh, many, many, many schools um, that driver children will attend will have teachers who are very versed and um, know about autism. And if they know that that child with driver syndrome has autistic features, that might them that, that might help them actually to adopt different strategies for that child, which can be extremely helpful. And I've spoken to parents of children with driver syndrome who really said that having a formal diagnosis of autistic features um, or autism has been um, a breakthrough in terms of managing behaviors and also getting acknowledgement from education authorities. And I think it's really, really important to identify this because this opens an opportunity to um, more help because there's a wealth of information, help, services available for children with autistic features or autism. And I think it's hugely beneficial for parents to tap into that and to uh, make the most of that. So that's been really, so it's really important to look out for this, to identify it so that parents can actually seek help.